welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be creating this goth doll look just in time for Halloween. So, let's get to it. So, I'm going to be starting off using at Ben Nye White Light Clown Cream Makeup. In my beauty blender, I'm just going to go ahead, you guys, and I'm going to add that white cream paint right underneath my eye and I know it looks like super crazy right now but I'm using the same beauty blender here that I used to use my, put my foundation put my foundation on and so it is going to be mixing in with the foundation that I already have on my face so that way once I you know get this worked in really good by just tapping lots of dabbing motions guys um, it's not going to look like super crazy white okay so I'm just working that in you guys underneath my eyes and I'm also going to take that up onto my forehead. So it's kind of like where um, the highlight portion of contouring is what I'm doing here guys. Okay, and I'm also going to get that on top of my lip and we'll put a little bit right on the chin. So once we have our face completely covered and we have it the shade that we want, we're going to go ahead and take this... Um, Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, and this one, you guys, is colorless. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush, and I'm going to set all the makeup on my face. What I'm gonna do is tap the powder on. Okay, just go ahead and tap it. And then once we're done tapping, guys, then we'll start working it in with the brush. Now, the reason I like to do this technique, guys, and don't be scared, get it in. Okay. The reason I like using this technique is because um, if I don't pack a lot on for some reason there's like always spots that I'll miss and I can't really freaking tell unless it's like just super packed on. I mean what else could we say? <laughs> right? So once I get that all thrown in everywhere what I'm going to go ahead and out and I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to do circular motions make sure that we're set. Okay, so now that our face is all set guys we're gonna go ahead and contour and I'm gonna be using this contour palette it is from lunatic cosmetic labs and I'm going to be using these gray colors right here okay and so I'm gonna be using this fluffy brush here and this one is from B Bella cosmetics in RG 210 and I'm just going to um, mix these two Mix these two gray colors here, guys. I'm gonna start with my cheeks, and I'm just going to create that contour line, and I'm going to bring it like up, kind of like in a roundish, so that we can give the illusion of having some high cheekbones. Go ahead and do the other side now. And I like using the fluffy brush, you guys, because it also is blending while we are applying again so it's not giving us like a really like sharp line um it's actually blending i'm going to begin um contouring my nose and i'm going to bring that like into the brow bone all the way down and go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and i also love hitting up that little tip right there okay so we're like darkening um, this is a goth doll, guys, so she ain't playing. Also going to hit up those temples and the jawbone. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to take this white color right here and I'm just going to really pop that nose contour because I just I really want it to stick out. So I'm just going to do like... A little dot here and make that straight line there and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that it's gonna bake we're gonna bake the heck out of our nose because when I wipe it off like I really want you to be able to see it while we're at it um, why don't we just go ahead and bake under the eyes with that white as well I mean you can't just leave one part and not do the other right <laughs> And we're baking guys, so yeah, it's extreme. But when we wipe it off, it's gonna be more subtle. Okay. Good. Okay guys, so while we're baking right here, we're gonna go ahead and start um, applying the eyeshadow on the top of the eyes. And today I'm gonna be using 
this um, rustic rose palette. It is from Pinky Rose and I'm going to concentrate right here on this burgundy color and we're also going to be using like a burnt orange. Okay. I'm going to just be taking a fluffy brush. This one is from Crown and I have my burnt orange color on the brush and you don't um, need a lot. And this is going to be like the back color. So we're just going to start blending that like right away. It doesn't need to be structured at all. Okay, and we're just gonna go ahead and get that color on. And start blending it upward. Like super up because we're gonna have a lot of black on this look too. And so I don't really want this burnt orange color showing anywhere in the eye look except for like the background. So like I said, just throw it on there. It doesn't need to be structurized. It doesn't really need to be cute. It just needs to be in there and blended in. I'm gonna take this smaller um, fluffy brush here and this one is from Be Bella Cosmetics in RG215. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that burgundy color. And I'm just going to put this on the crease. Again, we're gonna have lots of black in this look, you guys. And like I said, I really don't want these colors to be perfect. They're just going to be kind of like popping up in the background. Okay, so get that in, work it into your burnt orange color. If you wanna go ahead and take that um, previous fluffy brush that you guys had and go ahead, work those two colors together. So this is the burnt orange and the burgundy. All right, guys. So we're just getting that in, blending them together. Now we're gonna begin um, applying these same two color scheme shadows underneath the eye. And so for that, we are gonna have to go ahead and really wipe off some of this bake. Ooh, girl, she went in. Yeah, this is gonna require more blending than I thought. All right, now that we've got that blended out, um, same small little fluffy brush, guys, we're gonna go ahead and start working that underneath the eye. And you wanna bring it down. Good generous amount here, okay? Because again, this is just going to be the back color. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the same onto the other eye. And bring it down. Go ahead and connect those two while we're at it. And then if you want to take like your bigger fluffy brush guys, see that you can really work that down. Um, it'll help. I'm going to pick up a little bit more color. You see that it's starting to fade out and we definitely don't want that because we want to be able to see it after we add our black in. So, pick up more pigment if you need to and start blending that down the eye. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our black eyeshadow. And I'm just using um, the one from my Be Bella Pro palette. And I really love this black, you guys. It's like so super, super, super black. And you only need to pick up a little bit, so that's really dope. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start on the crease. Okay, oh, we need some more. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start working this black up. And again, you can use that same fluffy brush that you had, and that way you can blend the colors that we had on already into the black. Okay, and this whole area is gonna be covered with black, so. Let's get our blending down real good first. Blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now I have purposely, you guys, left my eyelids alone because we're gonna be using a different product 
on the eyelid. We'll get to that next. Like I said, work that black in and then use your bigger fluffy brush to blend the two colors together. She's looking good. So now I'm um, using that smaller fluffy brush. We're going to go ahead and start adding the black underneath the eye. Don't be shy with the black because we're gonna bring it down. Okay. So same technique like you did on top of the eye, except now she's moving her way down. Don't worry about that because we are gonna have some like little black squiggly line thingies going on. So go ahead and get that black underneath the eye and blend it in to your other colors. So now that we have our black on, I'm gonna go ahead and take this eye gloss from NYX and this is in the shade Blackout. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and take a flat brush and I'm going to Take this eye gloss and I'm just going to apply that onto the lid. And now you see why I left the lids alone because this stuff is super, super black. It stays glossy. It gives such a bomb illusion. It also moves incredibly. So, you know, like if you're going to be using it for line work, the glide power is just dope as hell. Um, but you, if you, you know, are going to use it for like detailing, you will need to set it because it does stay glossy and it's not like a water-based paint. So if you touch it, it's going to come off or if you move it even just a little bit, it's going to mess up. So, I mean, there are pros and cons, but overall, I mean, covering your eyelid, like for these types of looks and it's an eye gloss so it's like glossy okay guys so for the cheeks i'm going to be using this palette from ben nye and it is the ghoulish cheek rouge palette i mean it doesn't get any better than that does it and it's such a hard decision because all of these colors i feel like would go perfectly i mean even that orange i, I don't know if i want to do the orange or like something like this why don't we just do both? Let's put a little bit of orange in the back and then put just a dab of this. So I just took like a smaller um, fluffy brush, or it's not a smaller, it's like a cheek blush, a smaller one. And I'm just gonna put that orange onto the apples of my cheeks. And I'm blending it. Keeping it structurized, you guys right onto the apples so like if this happens right here and it's like went down a little bit further than you wanted it to just take some of your powder I had a little bit already on my sponge and then restructurize that like so okay and then let's take a little bit of that violet color and really pop it out oh i like that combo I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is cute. Hey okay guys, and just because I really, really love this eye gloss, I wanna show you guys how bomb and amazing the glide structuring is. And so I'm just gonna use an eyeliner brush and I'm gonna take some of that eye gloss. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create these little squiggly lines coming down, just like that. And you see how this like just glides perfectly? I just, I absolutely love it. And then, let me find my blending brush, I'm sorry. And then right here, like where it's all messed up kind of, you can just take your blending brush and work it in. Work it in, put your shadow. I just, I love the way this stuff glides, you guys. And we're going to just create more of these. So they're just going to be coming um, down from the eye. Alright, and we're just going to go ahead, you guys, and keep on creating. You may want some of them like to go longer. Okay. 
maybe bring a few of them out. And it's completely up to you how many of these that you want to add or create or whatnot. Okay. And there they are. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. I don't know if you remembered, but I did tell you guys if we were going to be using the eye gloss for detailing, that you are going to need to set it because it is eye gloss. It's not a water-based paint. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and just take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take some setting powder, get a really good generous amount because you don't want to smear or mess these lines up. So all we're going to do is dab. Dab it right on top very lightly don't press hard on it just very lightly get that setting powder on top of the lines that you just made now if you press too hard or you pull it it's just gonna mess up your design so just lightly dab it okay and get it all covered and then when you're done you can take your big fluffy brush and then go ahead and just brush away and see that? It's not moving. Well, it looks like it did a little bit, but not too bad. There we go. And you guys, um, the setting powder does oxidize, so I know it looks a little bit white right now, but give it about five minutes and it won't look powdery at all. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the lips. Now, if you haven't noticed, I have covered my lips also with foundation. Um, and the reason that I did that is because we are gonna create some doll lips and um, like the corners are not really gonna show. We're gonna do like a bigger bottom lip and then we're gonna raise the tops just a little bit higher. And I'm gonna go ahead and first outline that. I'm just using a brown um, eyeliner or eyebrow pencil. And So I'm just bringing that down. I didn't incorporate the corners of my mouth. And then I'm gonna start right here on the cupids. So and I'm gonna bring that up really high. Okay, so I want it like really high. That, okay, so I'm, I'm, I probably shouldn't talk while I'm doing this because it's just coming out crazy. So I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start here and bring this up really high and I'm gonna match it to the line that I have down here. Okay. There we so go. now I'm going to take this black lipstick. This one is from Vinyl Cosmetics Cult in the shade Enjoy Death. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and fill this whole area in. And this is a black liquid lipstick. And this is like super pigmented. I don't know if you can really tell, but damn. Okay guys, so now we have our little dolly lips. Okay, so they're looking good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, draw some lines that are actually gonna connect from here, kind of like a Pennywise type thing. Um, and we're gonna bring them up to the eye and then have them sticking up. So I'm using that same eye gloss again, you guys, just cause I really love the way it glides. And so I'm just gonna start here from the corner of my mouth. And I'm bringing it all the way up. Do the same on the other side. Cool bee. And now we're gonna go ahead and bring that line up this way, right through the eyebrow. other side as well okay. and then we're gonna go ahead and set those lines with our setting powder and remember to lightly dab okay so we don't smear it
get it all nice and set guys. Remember to pack on a generous amount. Your bigger fluffy brush and brush it out. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this white chubby pencil and this one is from Crown Brush in the color Blizzard and I'm just going to go right underneath very lightly just right along the line there to just really accentuate it and it doesn't have to be perfect now the cool thing about this is it, it is a cream pencil so you can just take your finger and kind of work it I'm gonna bring it up on top also like so use your finger to blend it in and bring it up and then, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take black eyeshadow and lightly, just lightly go right underneath the lines we met. And I'm not gonna go up like the whole entire thing because it's gonna be more of a shadow. So I'm just outlining it first and then we're gonna bring it out and kind of shadow it, okay? just so that it's more distinctive. And then once you get that perfect line, go ahead and start bringing that shadow out. But get your line down first, and then bring the shadow outward. Okay, I'll take a small fluffy brush, you guys, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out that black. Go ahead and do the same thing up on the top here. And I'm going to go ahead and take a black body paint and I'm going to go ahead and create some stitches. Um, I'll start up here. There we go. And we're going to start creating stitches going all the way down the lines, guys. So some will actually be crisscross and some of them will just be straight across. Completely up to you. And go ahead and do the other side. Um, to really make these stitches pop, what I'm going to be using is I'm going to take a white liquid liner and this one is from LA Splash Cosmetics and then I think it's called Patroness. Not sure, I probably said that all wrong. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of the white eyeliner and I'm going to add it on top of the stitches very lightly, just in different random places just to really make it pop and make them look more realistic. So when you add that white, you guys can see the difference of how it just gives it like a little bit more pop and it makes it look just a tad bit more realistic looking. So now that we have our face detail ready to go, I'm just going to take some black eyeshadow, you guys, and I'm just going to kind of dirty up the face, if you will by adding the black eyeshadow onto my jawbone and maybe add a little bit right here and let's just take in a black eyeshadow guys and instead of like lightly feathering it you guys what I'm doing is I'm just dabbing it just to kind of dark everything up a bit 
to really jazz this look up, I'm going to be taking these lashes. These are the new Heaven and Hannah lashes, and this is the name of them. Um, now that I have the glue on my eyelashes, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop those right on. Bam. Just to really give um, more of an illusion of doll eyes, I'm also gonna be taking these lashes in Melbourne and I'm gonna be popping them like flip side over and I'm gonna be applying them down on the bottom of my eyelashes. All right, and I'm just gonna bring that up right underneath there. So when you guys are done, go ahead and add any accessories that you want to add. Um, I found these really cute little bone suspenders and a bow. And now I'm going to pop on a black wig. So now that we have our black wig on, I'm going to go ahead and pop in these babies. Oh yeah. Now I'm really feeling this look. Okay guys, so this is the final look of our goth doll. So much fun. I'm hoping that you guys learned something and I would definitely have more tutorials coming soon. If you recreate this look, make sure you tag me. I'm going to put all of my handles and see you soon.